It's both. Yeah. Both. Yeah. yeah. Are we supposed to say that? Or? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it, re it really depends. We're, uh, I think we like to play in the bars. There's a good energy, it, like, of an enclosed space where everybody's kind of, you know, stones throw away from you. And, like, the stages from the festivals can be a little vast with everybody out there, but there's a different energy because there's so many more people sometimes and it's you know it's really cool yeah. but these different vibes I, I personally like them both on different occasions so mm -hmm. I've had good times playing each kind and, and that's what keeps it fresh in touring is that we, we encounter different rooms different crowds every single night so we, we you learn to adapt and uh, sometimes there's 10 people in a huge room and sometimes we've got a small room with 50 people you know and it's overflowing and so uh, and you learn you learn to play for the room and, and you learn uh, to enjoy uh, the people that are there and to, to connect with whatever audience that you have. So obviously festivals are great because they, they pay and enjoy the music. So obviously they're more of a music crowd. But um, yeah, you just got to learn how to tame the drinking crowd. Yeah. Is it difficult finding like festivals to play? Or is it... Well, how hard or is it to find a bar to play in than a festival? Oh, it, it's harder to get into a festival than yeah. it is to, to play a bar, I think. Uh, because the festivals, like, get uh, hundreds of, if not thousands, of applications from bands all over a year, mm -hmm. and they've got to be selective and, you know, try to be fair. And, you know, usually the festival, you know, tries hard to make an amazing lineup, and sometimes you're part of that and sometimes you're not, so it's just kind of okay. luck of the draw. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right. Well, I want to thank you for the interview. Well, oh, okay. head inside. Thank you very much. You, you want to say your name again, so just so right. everybody knows how to say it right. Diana Catherine and the Thrusty Tweeters, <laughs> and our album is called The Spirit Ranch Sessions. Perfect. Is there an online uh, way of getting a hold of you, Diana? Yes, there is, Matthew. Funny you should mention that. You can you can check the Rusty Tweeters out at www.dianacatherine with a c dot com. And that'll link us to all of our Facebook, MySpace, you name it, we got the page. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you can find us there. Perfect. All, all right. right. Put her back.